Now we get the fly pinned to our fly piece. Ultimately, this will come like this. And if we close the fly, this will be what the front of our trousers looks like, which is good. So this switch is zipper foot. So it once close to the actual zip, and then I prefer to do a zigzag there over the edge, just to keep the fly neat and in position. As you can see, I'm starting to zip from the bottom. I find it to be a bit easier for this scenario, but you can do if you want to start here and go down. By all means, go ahead. Zigzag. Here's our zip. Now on the inside, what we're going to do is we're going to secure or zip by stitching here like a bar tag through this fly shield, through the zip, through this fly shield, obviously not through our trousers. So take both fly shields together, flip everything away, and we're going to be sewing here. You can do it in the in the ditch there if you want or you can lose in the lining, it doesn't really matter. And once that's done, we're gonna cut away the excess zip. Now, when you sew this, you can go all the way up to the zip there. Okay, I've sewn that here, as you can see, it's now attached. I'm going to do the same on this side. So. Make sure I get only that. I'm going to secure it here. If you get any loose threads, you can try to fold them under so it's nicely finished. Okay, we've got our zip properly secured here at the bottom. Now we're going to cut away whatever is left here because it's not going to do us any good. There we go. Now if you look at our zip from the front, our zip here, and it becomes fairly obvious that the next thing we need to do is we need to join these two pieces together here. Now, this side of the zip, this fold, folds over that side. What you need to do is towards the bottom of the zip, but one and a half centimeters up, you fold it over. This point, you need to pin. There we go. Now, if we can open that up, you can see that. That's our pin there. We need to align these and these together. And then we're gonna sew all the way to our pin here. And there we're gonna do a nice little back tag, okay? Since I've pinned this important point here from the front, I've actually pinned through this layer, which is an annoyance. So what I do 
is once the position is fixed I just pin it together a bit further from the edge and then I put a horizontal pin there to mark to where we need to go and then I can take out this pin that was placed there from the front and the rest one move and then I just fold that backwards pin it aside so it stays backwards I'm going to be sewing along the seam allowance here all the way next to this um, bias well next to this uh, seam right until that horizontal pin and then I'm going to back tack a couple of times make that really strong so there we go and on the other side we're going to be catching there and it's going to be great when you sew this actually start from your horizontal pin and go down that way because here you know if it doesn't work out perfectly it's going to show whereas here in the in the cross seam nobody cares so start here back tack not once but a couple of times So there's our fly, we got the zip right there and when our trousers are finished this fold will lay nicely over the other one caught here by the waistband and here at the bottom it neatly turned into the seam, see? So that's very nice. Now all we need to do is stitch this curve here, which is what we'll be doing next.